What's up, everybody? Another Friday in Brighton. Yeah, hanging out with the fam. Watching River. I don't know. Do cute stuff. Seem pretty into this uh, toy piano thing. And uh, yeah, walked around for a bit. He liked to clean this uh, swing, I think because he saw us clean it so he could swing on it, but then he didn't want to swing on it, he just wanted to clean it. And you know, walking around, I don't know. We're on our way to Presquil. They've made a lot of progress digging up this uh, land right next to Presquil, the entrance at least, for, you know, houses and stuff. But uh, yeah, anyways gonna hang out in the park for a bit and uh, we stopped at a part that never really stop here usually it's just people I don't know barbecuing or whatever hanging out by the lake it's not really a beach here but kind of need to check out some dragonflies and stuff like that buzzing around then uh, went over to the lighthouse area the visitor center was closed and there's a lot of trash around and uh, I read this uh, plaque about Speedy. My mom told me the whole story of it. I was surprised that it doesn't mention Whistling Duck. It was an indigenous guy who was murdered by a fur trader. Officials delayed prosecuting the fur trader guy for a long enough time that Whistling Duck's brother, a Tuckanuck Cut, decided he was just going to murder the fur trader. At which point, I guess they were like, oh, well, we got to trial a took a neck cut and uh, while they were taking him by boat to be trialed in Brighton Newcastle at the time the boat sank and everybody on board died and if it wasn't for a Brighton restaurant changing their name to Whistling Duck wouldn't have known more details of this story and I just thought it was interesting because it's you know, this is that systematic racism that people have been talking about right now. So, shit's not new. Been happening uh, very early in Canada's history. But anyways, back in the current day, we're just looking at rocks. Throwing rocks into the water. Hanging out. Looking at this dead frog over here someone's built a little temple to. Pretty much just a chill time hanging out. And uh, yeah, heading out of the park now. I think uh, River's gotta have a nap. So uh, yeah. Oh, we ate watermelon before napping. Maybe he didn't nap, I don't know anymore. Either way, maybe that happened early in the episode, I forget. <laughs> We were making dinner and it started to rain. Didn't seem very rainy out of the front, but the back, pretty rainy. Okay, now we're having a nap. <laughs> uh, and now we're making pesto. Yeah, that was some good pesto. Pesto pasta. That's River singing along to heroes and uh, dancing <laughs> along to it too. Yeah, pretty cute. You know, both of his parents are pretty musical, so it makes sense. He's uh, into David Bowie. Anyways, going over to Dad's now. And uh, yeah, I'm just hanging out with Chris and Patty gonna check out the lake soon again very nice sky and some more baby bunnies wouldn't be surprised if they were the same ones that I saw like two weeks ago yeah there's other people hanging out kind of rare to see went for a good swim and uh, we saw this cloud it kind of looks like a dog made us think of Ella she loves swimming Yeah. 
Oh yeah, just heading back. And uh, Dad's coffee grinder stopped working. And we're like, why would it just stop working? So, out of curiosity, we just took it apart and had a look. And uh, I don't know guys, I, I'm kind of interested in electrical motors now. You know, because the e-bike and stuff, it'd be neat to have a better understanding of how electrical motors work. And uh, right now, my only experience fixing motors is with my, like, uh, fans. And usually fans, if they stop working, you can just put a little bit of oil or WD-40 and it'll, like, work again. But it didn't work for that. So I don't know. It'd be nice to know more about motors in general. But, uh, anyways, back at Mom's house, we watched, uh, more Offspring and went to bed. Later. <laughs>